Hello there, Suzanne here from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at making a really simple pocket. So if I show you the first prototype, so this is the first one. So as you can see, this one stretches along the side of a page. I will show you a variation in a moment. But as you can see, it has two pockets. So you have a long one um, along the front for some smaller pieces of ephemera and then you have a larger pocket at the back for obviously anything bigger that you have. So that's one variation, having it along the side. There is also an option to make a smaller one so that it just fits along the bottom of your page. But again, we've got that small front pocket and then one towards the back. This is the one I'm going to show you how to make today. Um, it's exactly the same way as this one, except for this one, it's just obviously a larger piece of paper. So. Um, I think this one was just slightly larger than A4, but then I did have to kind of tear it down to make it obviously fit onto the page. But an A4 page would be ideal. But I'm going to show you how to make this one, then obviously you can have a play about with your sizes um, another time. Okay, so to make that, all you need is a book page. So yay, another way to use up book pages. So all you need to consider is the size of your page. So all I did, if I bring my book back, is I had a look at the width that I had and I knew that I had to take some off. So obviously I've got lots of white space along the side, so that's perfect. I can just tear that down a bit. I didn't get rid of all of my white space because obviously I like to kind of tear and ink and have that torn um, edges. Obviously you don't have to if you don't want that. Um, but yeah, the idea is, is obviously you just want it to be able to be able to fit your page. So using my ruler, I'm just going to tear off some of these edges. So I'm not measuring, I am just eyeballing it. Okay, I'm also going to take a little bit off the bottom. I tend to just go up to where the number is, but obviously, again, you can do whatever you think fits your need. Okay, then, very important, if you are worried about the orientation, so where's that one? So obviously here, my writing is the right way up for both pockets, okay? So if you want that, if you are fussed and you like things up the right way, then you need to turn your piece of paper upside down okay then all you do is fold in half okay then you're going to open it back up again then you're going to bring this top piece down to that center crease and then you're going to fold this back up to the top Okay, so I know it still looks upside down at the moment. We're now going to turn it around. Okay, where that centre fold is, you're now going to fold that backwards. Okay, and then as you can see, this is going to be your front pocket. Okay, so all you need to do is just fold this back on itself so it comes up to the top. Okay, so now this bit that was down here, we've just folded backwards, so that will then form your pocket at the back. Okay, and that is it. Now you have options of how you obviously want to seal this, so you can use a glue, um, you can sew, uh, so on my large pocket, I did sew around the edges just because um, I've got a sewing machine for Christmas and I like to try it out. Um, on the smaller one, I actually had a little go at just creating a different effect. I stapled all the way around. So I don't know if you're new to journaling, you don't have all these supplies, then yeah, grab a stapler. That also works and I think creates a cool little effect as well. Um, but for the purposes of this, I am going to glue it. So before I glue anything, again, optional. If you want to ink, now's the time to do it because when things are all glued down, it does get very difficult. Also, if you want a little finger hole, then um, also now would be a good time to create it. So I'm just going to pull down that back bit so I don't catch that. 
and punch a hole. Again, I don't measure, I just eyeball it, but that's entirely up to you. And I am going to ink my edges. So like I said, that is up to you whether you are somebody that likes to ink. I am using Vintage Photo. And just going around the edges. In the thumb hole. Just along the back of that pocket. And then this front pocket. Okay. So that's how my pocket will look. Okay, as I said, you can do a number of things. You can sew, um, I stapled. Uh, this time I'm going to glue just so you can kind of see how that's done. So this whole flap needs to be stuck down um, and this whole back piece can be stuck down as well. So I'm just gonna put a teeny bit of glue, Oh, she says, along here. Do the same along the back. And then you just want to do up the sides of the pockets. So it doesn't have to be very much. Again, you can use whatever glue you have available. And then up the side of this pocket. And that is your pocket done. So you have a pocket here at the front and then where this thumb space is you now have a pocket here at the back. And then this will fit nicely at the bottom of the page. Sorry, let's try and get in shot. Let's try that again. So it fits lovely at the bottom of the page. And it's as easy as that. I really hope that you found this useful. If you did, please click the like button. If you would like to see more crafty videos of other different ways to make tuck spots, pockets, ephemera, and also making junk journals, then please click the subscribe button as well as the bell so you are notified of any new videos. I'm also available on social media. Please see the links below in the description box. I really hope you have a lovely crafty day. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye bye.